Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's a new day, it's a fresh day. I hope you're up shaking and baking. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Paul Ford. Today, I will be talking to you about five daily practices of successful salesmen. Five daily practices of successful salesmen. Let's start. The first daily practice of successful salesmen is they focus on the outcome for their clients. They focus on what their clients will get. You know, this is counterintuitive because usually human beings focus on themselves. But these guys, they focus on what their clients will get when their clients buy their product or buy their service. Their desire and their focus is on the happiness of the client. So, because they want the client to be happy, they want the client to get the end result, it moves them to always focus on what will this client get. I learned this from a realtor who's one of the top realtors in the country of Nigeria because I did a lot of work in the real estate industry. And this person was telling me that look, they want the reason why they're so big, they're so successful is that they're taking themselves out of the equation and they focus their attention on what will my clients get? How will their lives get better when they get a house? My, their focus on helping the clients get a house. That's the first one. The second daily practice that these guys do is that they have you know, they stay on their client's radar on a, on a consistent basis. You know, it's been said that if out of sight is out of mind. That means that if you're out of the sight of your client, they have a tendency to forget you. But if you're on their radar, they have a higher tendency to remember you. So these guys are very creative in the way that they get in front of their clients. Some way or the, I mean, I was just saying to myself today, I bought a book today by um, Aki, Aki Alabi. I think the title of the book is called How to Sell to Nigerians. And I, I've seen the book before, you know, in other people's timeline, but I saw it in another person's timeline, Emeka Nobis timeline on Facebook. And immediately I just brought out my card and I ordered the, the book. Why? Because the book was on my radar. If it wasn't on my radar, I would not have paid for the book. So you need to be on the radar of your people. You tweet about your business, you, you are on WhatsApp status, you, are, or you put up a post on Instagram or whatever, you, you tell people in your community about what you do, in your estate meeting, when you are introducing yourself, you say that you are, you introduce yourself with the name of your business, which is like your identity. Those are simple, simple ways, you know, you, you share your card everywhere you go. All those tips are ways through which you can be on the radar of people. You call people every now and then to just check on them, to see how they are doing, all those are creative ways through which you can be on the radar of your of your potential um, customer. The third way is they have the third daily practice that they have daily fundamentals. There are certain things that they do every single day. They do it every single day. For example, for some of them, they pray every single day. Some of them, they declare their sales goals to themselves every single day. You know, for some of them, they listen to their sales target every single day. They exercise every single morning to put them in that state. There must be something that you do every single day. For me, I read my sales goals every single day. I read a particular scripture to myself, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 in the TPT uh, version of the Bible every single day. Day. I write down a gratitude journal every single day. I drink a cup of coffee, a cup of tea every single day. There's something that you must do to put you in the states and the consciousness of success that helps you to win. The fifth, fourth thing that they do eh, is that they prospect every single day. They know that without prospecting, there's no success in sales. They know that, so they are very, very concerned about it. Every day they have a prospecting list. They have people to call 
the week they prepare a night before they pick up the phone and they call they run through the calls. some of them make up the 35 calls a day 20 calls a day 15 calls a day but they run through those calls every single day they send out linkedin um messages to people they send out dm to on instagram to sell their products and their services to people they do some form of prospecting activities every day because they know that without without activity sales will not take place because it's the activities that make the sales goals a reality what are your daily prospecting activities how many calls you send in a day how many text messages you send in a day how many emails you send in a day those are the prospecting activities that will make the sales or goal a reality and then the last and the fifth thing that they do every single day is they market themselves every day because you understand that sales is not marketing and marketing is not sales they sound alike but they are not the same marketing is when you make noise about what it is that you do so they run facebook ads they pay for ads they run instagram ads they pay for ads they don't depend on their company to give them leads they generate their their own leads they generate their own leads and then they qualify those leads and then they start selling to those people. So they do ads every day. They are on podcasts. They appear on podcasts, on people's podcasts. They have their own podcast. <laughs> they have their own YouTube channel, like I have my own e YouTube channel. They have their own email list. They are doing their own way of marketing themselves because they know that when they do these five things, it will increase their sales. What are those five things? They focus on the end user. They stay on the client's radar. They stick to their fundamentals. They prospect every day and number five they market them so i think if you do these five things it will help you so smash on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you really really enjoy this and share this with your friends and family um, members or click on the link underneath this video so you know to enjoy any of our products you know i have a podcast you can click on the link to subscribe to the podcast i'm very active on instagram uh, at paul for at p-a-u-l-f-o-h follow me on instagram and you will enjoy that or you can get any of my product i've got a product coming i've got a webinar coming up it's called um how to regularly make one million naira from your coaching, speaking, and writing business. I have done this for 10 years. There is no major bank in Nigeria that I've not done sales training for. None. The top five banks in Nigeria have done sales training for all of them. There's no major real estate company in Nigeria that I have not done sales training for. So I understand how to get corporate clients and I understand how to get you know one-on-one -on -one, uh, clients. So I understand the sales, the, the coaching, and the speaking business. I sell over a thousand copies of my books every single year. So if you want to take your coaching and speaking business to the next level, click on the link underneath this video and register for that class. It's cheap. It's just 10,500 Have a good day. Let's go. Boop.